Good morning, fishing fans. I'm back out on Calaveras Lake. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but over there, that's where I was fishing last week, and there's now seven boats in my spot, so I'm not going over there today. I'm getting, I'm as close as I can get without interrupting people. And hey, they're here first, it's their spot, so uh, I hope they have a good time, and I hope I do too, right here from this spot. I don't see why I can't get, catch fish in this spot, so I'm getting ready to drop my lines and see how it goes. Okay, that fish is a pretty nice catfish. I lost him. Uh, yeah, day big, yeah, which is okay because I was going to put him back anyway. But uh, I was getting ready to blame it on my hooks going barbless. I went barbless this week. First time ever that I fished barbless. I decided it's time to enter into this new century. And uh, however, when I got it out of the water, I found out that the barb had not been removed off of this particular hook. I hadn't modified it yet. So, um, that being the case, I can't blame it on barbless hooks. I went ahead and took the barb back off of this one and we're putting it back out there. I'm gonna try it for a while. Uh, I think it's time to go that route. So uh, for now, we'll see how it does. Uh, still no red in this spot, but it, that was a pretty nice catfish I hooked. Let me introduce you to this float. Um, it's about made by Phil and uh, the daggone things are almost $10 a piece now. And I'm kind of tight. I don't like spending money. Matter of fact, I have another one here. I'm kind of tight. I don't like to spend money if I don't have to. Uh, so now that I'm getting older and I have to uh, take medicine all the time, I, uh, I am forever throwing away medicine bottles. But I happen to like slip corks. And since I like slip corks, I decided to take my hate for throwing things away and combine it with my cheapness and uh, my need for slip corks. And I made these slip corks out of my old medicine bottles. And uh, so far it seems to be working pretty well. All I did was drill a hole through the bottle the same size as a coffee stir. And then I stuck this coffee stir through it and glued it in place, glued the lid shut, glued the coffee stir in place. And uh, so far, they seem to be working pretty well. When it slides down, it stands up. Uh, it's not as aerodynamic as those nice thills are, but it seems to be working. So if any of you out there are cheap like me <laughs> and uh, want to try to do something like that, hey, go for it. The world is just plumb full of us innovative types who want to try to find something new to do with them. That particular slip cork I've got set to uh, 18 feet deep. And uh, it, it keeps the bait just about a foot or two off the bottom. We'll see how it does. Yeah, I'm afraid Michael couldn't come today. He uh, He's doing the, the good thing, and he's going to visit his mom today, which is good. Those things, children need to visit their parents if at all possible. And so that's where Michael's at today. He's out visiting with his mom. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be making a fishing trip next week or the week after. I'm going to be going to Tennessee. And I'm uh, going to go spend some time with my mom. And uh, so there'll be a two-week hiatus on my fishing trips. And then I'm, when I come back, I'll get started again. So you won't see hardly anything once the next week is passed for a week. And while I'm in Tennessee, I'm going to Gatlinburg. So um, any of you in Gatlinburg, drop me a line, say hello. Maybe I'll get to see you while I'm there. All right. All right, Chris, nothing else is doing any good. I'm getting ready to toss this line out. You know what I'm using here. So uh, let's see how she does. See if I cast it any better today than I did the other day. Oh yeah. Working much better. I got it out there with some shrimp on it, and uh, hopefully, we'll snag a bite on that one. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have you turned on. I was in the middle of setting the battery to charge when this happened, but uh, I did get a nice bite, and off he went, and I got another bite. Hang on. Things are going. Hey, Chris, this is your pole. This is your reel. There we go. Let's see if I can get this around. Oh, 
Wow, there's what happens, Chris. <laughs> okay, if it's clicking, you're not bringing it in. Yeah, ah, uh, there's another fish got off. Okay, so I've gone to these barbless hooks. And am I even winding it in? I don't think so. Yeah, I am. Okay, since I've gone to these barbless hooks, Wow, look at that. That's exactly what happened on the other one. Okay. I had him. I got a scale. But I didn't get the penetration. I don't know why. Uh, that was a nice red. That was a nice redfish. You see the size of that scale? Uh, so that's two nice reds I've lost here. Right within just a minute or so. Uh, so we'll see if we can get things going better. All right, Chris. We're going to put this back out on this side. I'm going to tighten down the drag just a little bit. Yep. We're still okay. I had the drag set. If you back that drag up, it, it almost immediately just lets it go. Okay. So, let's try again. I know that's a really lightweight rod, but it's a lightweight reel. So that's uh, what we got going on here. And if you look at this other one, this is the other one I missed while we were off camera. Got scale there too. I didn't get proper penetration. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, a little bit of a rough morning. I've had three fish hooked and all three of them got away. So I'm not doing so well here today. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, re Rechange things up a little bit. And uh, I really don't think I can blame it on the barbless hooks, not yet, uh, because the hooks had not gone all the way down through the scale. So I think it's me not setting the hook properly. Uh, I've always been told that with these circle hooks, you shouldn't have to set the hook, that it automatically hooks by itself. But that doesn't seem to be the case. The interesting part is, if you're hooking in the mouth, how am I ending up with scales uh, on the end of the hook? So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here yet. <laughs> All right, I'm out here by myself today, as you know. And uh, do you have any idea how difficult it is to see a fish hit a line and have to remember before you go grab the fish to hit the record button on the camera. Uh, I don't have enough memory space to be able to just keep it running. So I ha that's what I have to do. And I don't really think it's cost me any fish, but it's just difficult to remember. Okay, here we go again. And I think I missed him by turning on camera uh, that one hadn't much more than hit the water and he was moving hard all right my apologies to you if you miss some action but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start making sure I've got him hooked prior to coming back and turning the camera on. No, you know what, I'm gonna leave the camera on. And if nothing exciting happens, I'll just delete that footage and turn it back on again. But now that was, that was a nice fish and he was running hard. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this boat right over here, they're starting to give me the evil eye for casting close to their boat, even though they came in and parked right in the top of where I'm casting to. So, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm not fussing at them for being there. They don't need to fuss with me for casting there. Oh. All right, Chris. There we go. I uh, had a nice fish on again. He snapped the line at the pin. So, that's enough for fishing for big fish <laughs> with the automatic 268. As soon as he's hit the run, I had the, I had the drag set. As soon as he hit the run, bam, he snapped it. I mean, he hit it that fast and that hard. 
and uh, so we're retiring the damn 268 for fishing for reds it's not gonna work i go doing some bluegill fishing we can do that what i have found is that when you do the backup it completely releases it's like hitting the trigger there's like nothing there the pen doesn't come out but the spool just sits there and spins so um i'm i'm not real sure about that whole purpose of that automatic but that was a nice fish again and uh he he came running at me and he just snapped it right off so that's two fish i got away on that one broke it and the other one because it popped loose so i think we're going to retire that one for fishing for big fish and i'm going to free line a different pole at this side i think we're going to set up this one that i broke it got broken last week i'll say i broke it that's fine it, i was the one driving the boat the truck so um all right this is my repair i don't know how well you can see it but i've uh, patched it in so this is the rod that was broken and it's patched and i'm going to go ahead and rig it to free line instead of that one and we'll see how we do that's that's two nice fish that were over here on the free line so we're going to go that direction and see how we do Okay, gentlemen, here we go. There he goes. There he goes, he's running. Let me set that hook. Okay, this is on the repaired rod. I don't know what you guys can see or even if you're on. I'm not going to reach down and try to pull out. This one's going to need a net. Okay. I don't think there's a need to measure this one, but we will. And uh, let's see what we're looking at. And we're going to pull the camera for a second so you can see. Okay, here we go. I managed to get him in. It was a fish very similar. Felt very much like this, Chris, that busted off that line. And uh, so that was a nice fish nice fish i don't have my i don't have anybody to take the picture so i'm gonna have to figure out how to use this timer on this thing try to take my own picture with him all right i've got him in the live well and uh i'm ready to put out put it out on another free line and uh the free line seems to be what they're hitting today uh the big ones that i've got out where everybody else is trying to fish and not have any luck uh don't seem to be getting it they're all just sitting there, so I'm going to move and put this free line back out again. That was a nice fish. I hooked a nice fish on the free line before. Okay, so that one I caught on the free line. And by free line, I mean it's a Carolina rig put out there with no weight on it. And uh, I forgot you can't lip redfish very well because they chew up your thumb pretty good. So um, 
won't be doing that again. And uh, I was trying to get a picture of him for you guys, and I was unsuccessful. So hopefully when I take him up there for the cleaning station, I'll manage to do it then. And in the meantime, hopefully I'll catch two more to top off that meal. So anyway, I got to go check these lines because the free line is the one that's doing so well. Uh, it's two nice fish I've hooked on that free line. And uh, the rest of these are just sitting out there and not doing anything. So I put another free line out and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go check the rest of these, see how they're doing. All right, here we go again. It's fishing time. I don't know what we got here. Again, this is that same free line. He went down and got caught, caught under a rock. Now he's come back up. It's a, it's a rat red. Oh, he's a fighting little rat red. Okay. And he swallowed the hook, which is going to give me an opportunity to try out this new barbless hook. So we're going to see how this thing works out. We're going to try to go in here with a pair of hemostats. See what we can do. See if we can roll that hook out of there. And I tore my thumb up on that big guy. Just like that. So I've got a band-aid on there now. And uh let's see if we can roll this out. I understand you can go in right through the gill without touching the gill. And get hold of that hook. And of course, I've got another fish on. He's gonna have to wait. And I don't know if I still got him. He's on this. I think he might have got away. Nope, he hasn't gotten away. I think he's a rat red too, though. Yep. Okay. There's another rat red. And let's try this barbless hook on this guy. Look at there. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. It's a lot more gentle on the fish. All right. Let's go back here again and see if we can get this hook out of this other one. Down here they are. All right. Let's try this again, buddy. This right here was my whole purpose. wanting to go barbless just so I could do this. There we go. Hook is out. And without doing any any damage. No bleeding, nothing. That's nice. All right. Come on back, buddy. I've changed my mind. I've decided I'm not going to clean this fish. I'm going to let him go. He gave me a lot of enjoyment today. And I'm sure it was not pleasant for him. But uh, I'm going to put him back. Let him go. And if I had two, I'd go ahead and clean them. But uh, with just the one, I'm going to let him... Go free. 
There he goes. He's gone. So, a great day of fishing. I had a good time. And, uh, I guess I will, uh, start this boat up before it hits the rocks.